back from the gym. That was a good solid session, I gotta say. Of course, not my best workouts I'm having right now. Of course not. But considering my my situation, it's pretty go it's going pretty good. We are exactly today's Friday. Surgery was last Thursday, so <clears throat> I guess seven full days after the surgery and my fifth day at home out of the hospital so we did shoulders and triceps I filmed the whole workout and I'm I intend to put the whole workout in so you just saw that hopefully with a little bit of audio commentary and explanation as to what I'm doing at FitX München Schwabing I won't tell you at what time I'm going because I don't want people to be there and harass me. Today someone asked me if I was going to pose for him after training. I said no. <laughs> and here is my post-workout meal. Obviously I've already taken the supplements. As always, you know, Kidney Plus, HEPA Plus, Heart Plus, Omega, GDA, Zinc. <clears throat> all that good stuff from Big Zone. Oh, yeah, vitamin D, very important. And now, post workout meal is this. Here, as always, you know, it's 300 grams of ground meat, a little bit of spinach, that's about 100 grams. And today, different rice cakes here. One of those is 150 grams. It says 135 grams, but every time I weigh it out, it comes out to 147 or something like that. So we're doing, it, we're calling it 150. So this is my post-workout meal. Looking forward to that. I'm gonna eat again in about 90 minutes to two hours. And take the day from there. I'm going to take you with me. Thank God I don't have any fucking doctor's appointments today I'm, I'm all good on that front right now for until next thursday when i get the stitches removed and with the faden gezogen nächsten donnerstag haha thanks for tuning in guys as always here we are legs again I'm doing legs all in one session now for the time being because I'm very limited in exercise selection as you all know because of my hip <laughs> and so it doesn't it's not really necessary to split things up into hamstrings and quads I'm doing hamstrings and quads together for now calves separately with chest and that is good so right now we started out with the seated leg curl basically for the whole session just think Roman has done five working sets of every exercise also that is because of my limited exercise selection and I'm not going to super crazy all out failure as I normally do with my wife because honestly I'm still a little bit scared and at this point in my recovery I also don't think it would be productive to <laughs> risk anything so we started out with the seated leg, seated leg curl to warm up everything. Make sure we're lubricated, the knees are warm, the adductors are warm. Oh damn, I'm hurting right now as I'm driving back and so on. So five sets of 15 reps each. I gotta say, I like this techno gym seated leg curl. <sighs> Some of you might not like it, as at home I have a Cybex uh, Ego 
of course that one is better but this techno gym seated leg curl is good as well just because it has a different padding set up and it just feels yeah, different so five sets here with the same weight of 15 reps I either do rest pause or I assist myself as you can see here in I think two of the sets I filmed and that's basically it just five sets short rest intervals of 30 breaths 30 deep breaths as a rest interval and then I went into those hamstring hyperextensions let's call them I was able to do that without pain I think right now those caused me a little bit of pain yeah that was not a good idea to do honestly but all the other exercises were fine this one wasn't so good probably because too much rotation in the hip but doesn't matter can't change it now <sighs> then lying dumbbell curls I did five sets there just to straight failure oh but let's go back to the hyper extensions I did five sets there of 10 reps if I wasn't going if I wasn't getting 10 I had to assist I assisted myself a little bit with a push of the handles until I completed 10 reps on each set five sets there like I said then lying dumbbell curls because this gym doesn't have a good lying curl so lying dumbbell curls it was five sets I picked 15 kilo dumbbell really squeezed my knees and adductors together and I just did five straight sets no rest pause nothing just five straight sets so I didn't even get up in between sets I just laid there on the floor and did five sets <clears throat> that was that next exercise leg extensions I had to think about it <laughs> leg extensions also I did five sets 15 reps again I was stronger than last time and the last one I wanted to film I had the camera set up for the grand finale and then I forgot to hit record so the fifth set was a drop set <laughs> I rest paused for 15 then I cut the weight in half and did twice as many reps so rest paused for 15 on the last set and then cut the weight in half and did 30 that was fucking brutal my legs were pumped afterwards and I wasn't even on video so I guess it didn't count <laughs> yeah but I filmed a couple of the other 15 rep sets and then as a finisher I went over to the Smith machine and tried my luck in the squat first time squatting although it is on the Smith machine after the surgery and off a bench to make sure if something happens or happened to happen I had the bench underneath me to catch me and also the bench limits my hip flexion to 90 degrees so I wasn't able to go past 90 degrees that's just important to notice to make sure the hip doesn't get affected by anything doesn't get harmed I did five sets there of 12 and man I had one play to side on there it was brutal after all the work I had done it was brutal and I was out of breath I don't even know why I was out of breath after 12 reps um, the first set was easy 12 and then I did four more of about eight and then four rested and 
I was getting dizzy and I was out of breath and it felt like, here, I hope this is a good analogy. It felt like uh, my lungs were expanding. They were like they were um, <sighs> crumbled up before that. They weren't able to get full, fully oxygenated. And now that breathing, that deep breathing and that, um, yeah, that need for air made them inflate and break open. That was a crazy feeling. Like literally, I felt like my lungs were crumbled up before that. And now I busted them back open to expand and be able to get more oxygen. Like the surgery had affected it or something like that. Maybe, the, maybe they get affected from the narcotic. So basically my, even right now I can breathe much better. Can, it feels like I can get more air into my rib cage now after the workout than before the workout. And I didn't even notice how constricted my lungs were before. Funny. Yeah, so we got through that. Then I finished off with 15 minutes on the bike. Simon, the head trainer of the gym, so the boss at the gym, allowed me to film from now on, even with a cameraman. So I am officially allowed to bring a cameraman into FitX München Schwabing to give you more content. So that's awesome. Thank you, Simon. On the way here, I got flashed. Also, ich wurde geblitzt. Glaub, I think I got flashed. I'm not sure. Because there was a, another BMW right next to me, and he was driving faster than I was. So I hope that he got flashed, and I didn't. <laughs> I wrote down his license plate just in case. So if there is a letter in the mail from the city of Munich that I had to pay a fine, I'm going to fight it. Depends on how much money it is. If it's only 15 bucks, I, I'll swallow it. But um, if, if it's a lot of money, then I will definitely fight it and say, hey, there was this guy next to me and he got flashed and I didn't. Uh, see about that. Funny here, I think my mom is driving behind me in the car. Yeah, I'm driving back home from the gym and I think my mom is right behind me, coming back from the grocery store, something like that. Let's see. Now, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is probably it for this video. It's been a long one. Wisst ihr, Leute, Big Son, Code Rex 10. Ich freut mich immer, wenn jemand was mit meinem Code bestellt. Dann sehen wir uns im nächsten Video. See you in the next video. Thank you very much and good night.
feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And fuck all the doubters They're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Stop till I wear the crown. I swear to God. 